Hello everyone and welcome to my preview of the New Japan Pro Power Struggle 2019 show, the Super Junior Tag League Finals, as it is a 9 match card, a couple of championship matches, as uh, you can never open weight title match, Somari Ishii, Kenta, Junior Heavyweight Championship match, Bushi and Will Ospreay, and the main event, IWGP Intercontinental Championship, Roki Goto versus Jay White as we'll start from the opener. Big ass eight man tag of uh, really, you know, two kind of, you know, the really, uh, you know, eight kind of junior guys. If you could throw at that air quotes, maybe with Yui Mora, but other than that, pretty much everyone's a junior here. So, you got uh, team one with Yui Mora, Rice the Gucci, Tiger Mask Four, and Jushin Thunder Liger taking on. Clark Connors, T, uh, J TJP, Titan, Volador Jr. So really, you know, a young lion in each corner with, you know, uh, six established guys. As uh, Raisuke Taguchi, Tiger Mask 2, or Tiger Mask 2, Tiger Mask 4, rather. I've been talking too much goddamn TW. Uh, as uh, Tiger Mask 4, and she's just on the Liger, obviously the more uh, well-known, more over team compared to the TJP, Titan, and Volador Jr., as, uh, you know, you figured that team's gonna get the win over TJP, Titan, and Valdo Jr. and Clark Haas. Obviously, the Young Lion is probably gonna take the fall here, whether it be Yui Mora for Team 1 or Clark Haas for Team 2. Either way, I mean, it should be a final opener. Uh, I'm gonna go with Team 1, though, getting the win. I, I'm gonna say Liger or uh, even Noguchi uh, beats Clark Connors. As uh, the next match... Ten, uh, then just a regular old tag match, 20 minute time limit of, uh, Robbie Eagles, Rocky Romero taking on Taiji Shimori and El Phantasmo. As, uh, obviously Taiji Shimori and El Phantasmo, the junior heavyweight champions, as, uh, they're gonna get the win. Obviously wouldn't, would be kind of weird, just kind of the thrown together chaos team of Eagles and Romero beating the junior tag champs. That'd just kind of be weird, wouldn't see that happening. Uh, but it should be a good match though, I mean all four guys are ca very capable. There should be a pretty good match, honestly, if, if they give them, I wouldn't say time, because it's a 20-minute time, limit, but yeah, I mean, they could have a good 10-minute, 12-minute match, no problem. Should uh, should be pretty good. Uh, as uh, the next match, six-man tag, uh, you know, L.I.J., Suzuki Gun, six-man tag, Shingo Takagi, Sonata, and Evil, taking on Lance Archer, Minoru Suzuki, and Zack Sabre Jr. As far as, you know, Minoru Suzuki and Shingo, they've been kind of going at it. For the past tour now, so you could do something building up to that at either Wrestle Kingdom or even uh, something later, later down the line. But I doubt it. You know, obviously with Suzuki's contract running up, you figure uh, they have one of the two Wrestle Kingdom shows. They have Shingo and Suzuki, and Shingo beats them. The little passing of the torch, uh, if you will, as it, it you know that that's going to be kind of pretty much set. So then you have you know, is it going to be? You know, Sonata, Zack Sabre Jr., they're going to do a singles match at one of the two Wrestle Kingdom shows. That kind of makes sense, as both guys have great chemistry with each other. And they uh, have a very different style of a matchup than what you see a lot of, you know, singles matches probably at that Wrestle Kingdom show. So that'd definitely be something very interesting to see, even though they've, they've done it uh, pretty, you know, pretty recently. But it's still, it's uh, great whenever they do it. And Lance Archer being the U.S. champion, you could have Lance Archer and Evil. You could, uh, for the IWGP United States Championship. I figured they'd just have him take on a Gaijin, but you never know. Uh, you know, it's something, and, you know, listen, it, it's, uh, not a, a far-fetched conclusion having a Japanese guy being the U.S. champion. As, uh, you know, but just as far as for Lance Archer, kind of seeing what he can do with building up for a future title contention with maybe someone from a, an LIJ team. But you, you just never know. Uh, it's with that, it's uh, it's not really set in stone. Let's say the thing that is set in stone is the Minoru Suzuki, Shingo, Takagi interactions. You're gonna, they're going to build up to a wrestling thing. The match would be uh, my guess there. As far as who's going to win, I'm going to go with Suzuki Gun getting the win. Getting a little cheeky little win. Maybe even some, uh, even a DQ maybe. Just a DQ loss. As, you know, Suzuki hits Shingo with a chair or something like that. As a next match of special little tag match that gets 60 minutes of uh, a time limit as uh, Kazuchika Okada and Yoshihashi take it on Kotobushi and Hiroshi Tanashi. Obviously, one of these things is not like the other. Looking at you, Yoshihashi, as uh, Kazuchika Okada and Ibushi, obviously, they're building up 
to their uh, Russell Gang the matchup. With Orochi Tanahashi, though, he's kind of a man that has uh, really no no plans uh, going into Wrestle Kingdom, so that's a little scary for him. Obviously, you knew it was going to happen eventually. The man has been toting the, uh, not really toting, but carrying the uh, the flag, if you will, from New Japan for quite some time now, and now it's, you know, he's stepping back. He uh, he won. It's weird how he, you win your IWGP Heavyweight title in the, uh, the last Wrestle Kingdom, and now going into this one, he's got nothing as far as, uh, ideas or any plans for him it shows you that yes the, the title change with him and omega was definitely because they were just all leaving for aw if had that not happened which i you know we would have just had him beating tanashi then probably going on to lose to okada at uh russell at not at about to wrestle but at madison square garden as for so, so that's just kind of the plans of what Tanahashi was involved in. He's just kind of thrust into that. So as far as what he could do, obviously you'd assume that he's not going to build to a singles match with the Yoshihashi. That'd just kind of be a waste. Hopefully they got something figured out for him. I wouldn't mind a Roshi Tanahashi Tai Chi match, if I'm being honest. That'd be pretty fucking awesome. Uh, those two ne haven't really had a singles match before. So that'd be unique, new, and it'd be pretty awesome. As far as speaking of uh, Tai Chi and Tetsuya Knight, obviously with this tag match, Yoshiashi's definitely taking the fall. Would be weird if he didn't, a type of thing. As the special singles match, Tetsuya Knight to Tai Chi. Obviously no strange to each other. This is, you know, kind of a number one contendership for the Intercontinental Championship without it saying it's a number one Intercontinental Championship uh, contenders match. So you figure who's ever winning this is going to take on Jay White uh, or Hiroki Goto. I guess Goto could win uh, the main event. But, uh, you know, I'm just, just, I'd assume Jay White's going to win. So we're just going to stick with that uh, narrative. As uh, yeah, Tetsuya Knight to Jay White, it just makes sense. Kind of the big, the yeah you know, the biggest heel in New Japan. I guess pretty much one of the most over guys in the company for the past uh, a couple of years now. So you have... A huge Wrestle Kingdom match. And obviously the narrative going into Wrestle Kingdom is Night 2 is going to leave with both belts. going to leave the Intercontinental Championship and the Heavyweight Championship. So you figure he's going to beat Jay White Night 1. And then uh, somehow get an Okada match Night 2. That's just what you would assume. Obviously with this you know two-day schedule being a new thing, you really have no idea. It, sh it gives you a bit of a variety of what kind of what the cards can look like going into it, but uh, it, it's gonna be interesting, that's for sure. But this should be a good match. Though. Every time uh, Tetsuya Naito and Tai Chi have wrestled in the past, it's been really good. So I'm excited to see how that plays out, but I I'm gonna go with Tetsuya Naito getting the win as the Super Junior Tag League Finals. Uh, the team one of El Desperado and Yoshinibu Kanemaru. And then uh, Sho and Yo, Rapungi 3K. Obviously, who's ever going to win this is going to take on the Junior Tag Champs at Wrestle Kingdom at some point, you know, either night one or two. And so you, and those being fucking El Fantasma and Taiji Shimoi, it would be pretty weird having two heel teams going at it and El Desperado and Shadiba Kanamara versus those guys. So, I mean, it's kind of a foregone conclusion. Sho and Yo get the win. Now, they could have him lose. El Desperado and Yoshinibu Kanemaru, they just make it a six-man. They throw in, like, Osprey and Eagles as, uh, like, the third team. And then night two, have Osprey and either Ishimori or even El Phantasmo again. It's kind of a rematch on night two type of thing. So that, that's either way. We could see that. Those guys uh, in uh, Will Osprey and Robbie Eagles getting thrown back into the junior tag uh, title scene. As uh, then, the uh, never open weight championship title matchup, Tomori Ishii and Kenta. The, Kenta's build up to this has been phenomenal. He's really getting into his bag as far as being a heel and getting the, uh, just saying some just funny shit. Uh, he's been hilarious throughout this whole build, saying, how am I gonna be able to concentrate when I'm you know, staring into the eyes of that man type of thing, where he's just talking about how much of a hunk he is. It's just kind of, it's very funny, it's a very different type of build than what you've seen in New Japan uh, recently. As uh, just, it's 
he's been really good and comfortable with promos and whatnot in the post in the post show and matches press conferences. He's been getting a, a, you know really understanding what it is to be the heel character in New Japan as and he's really adopted it well and he's doing really well with it and he's running with it. It's nice to see. It's nice to see. He's he's definitely gonna kill it. As far as who's going to win, I would. You could see Kenta getting a win here by some shenanigans, even again. And just uh, at Wrestle Kingdom, they have a special match, singles match, where it's, you know, no interference and no DQ, something like that, where they kind of have a stipulation to it. But it should be a hell of a match, though. That these two, uh, even before kind of the interference and all that happened with uh, Kenta's match, with the Kenta Ishii match beforehand, uh, it, it was really good. Also, too, you know, Kenda got concussed throughout their match, too. That The first match at the, in the UK at the Royal Quest show. So, hopefully, this time around, nobody gets concussed or anything like that. Everything uh, goes off without a hitch. But, uh, you know, I'm going to go with Kenda get, retaining the belt here. And even, you know, in some shenanigan fashion, steal another one over Tomer Ishii. But, they, you know, Ishii gets the big win at Wrestle Kingdom. Now, that'd just be my thing uh, if I was... Putting this together, but the uh, the next match, the co-main event, uh, IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship matchup, Will Ospreay, the champion digging on Bushi as, uh, you know, these two, they don't have bad chemistry together, but obviously this is a kind of, with Will Ospreay having the year he's had, it's going to be interesting to see how he does with this match. I think he's, I, without a doubt, it's still going to be good, because I think he can pull a good match out of anyone at this point. I think he's proved it. Uh, just, you know, with Bushi, as uh, over he is, maybe as a character, and, and as, you know, the Mist, the MX, and all this, as far as matches goes, it doesn't really have that high-profile, like, you know, amazing Bushi match, singles-wise, with someone. This could be it here. That, you know, if they get it together, and have, they click chemistry-wise, it could be a really, really good match. But right now, I'm just going to think it's going to be just a good match. Nothing too crazy, but it is a Will Ospreay match. It's going to do something crazy in it. As far as, obviously, Will Ospreay's going to win. I don't think Bushi's going to beat him. So, you know, Ospreay getting a uh, defense, getting his third defense of the title before going into Wrestle Kingdom. As the main event, IWGP and I got an all-championship matchup. Roki Goto taking on Jay White. I love both guys here. And uh, it sucks when you kind of have to pick between two guys you love because Hiroki Goto, it'd be so awesome to win this belt here. That'd be huge. Would really be the highlight of his career, him mean, being the IWGP Intercontinental Champion, as far as like titles go for him. He's not really had a lot of titles, and uh, he, you know, his matches, his matches recently have been really good. Rather it be from uh, him and Ishii from a, you know two G One Zero and with him and uh, Shingo and just him, he he's been on quite the tear as of late. And it'd be awesome to see him get rewarded with a championship. He's just stuck between a rock and a hard place here. Because here, you know double champ Naito's going to happen. So if you have Goto win here, which would be cool. But then you just have him be a transitional champion that lose to Naito there. Which even though that match would be really good. It's not compared to what Jay White and Naito would be. Just because of, as far as a dichotomy is, the people would be so behind that to see Naito. No one will see Jay White win. So it'd be, you know, make it even better. Plus, it's a rematch uh, from what, uh, you know, they, they've they had good matches in the past, Tetsuya Knight and Jay White, with the Intercontinental Championship. And kind of shocking that even with Jay White winning last time, you know, it's kind of a rematch with that, too. So just the story of Jay White and Tetsuya Knight, it's just not over yet. It's going to end with Naito beating him for the championship. So it just it makes sense, Jay White retaining here. Over Goto, so that sucks. But, it, you know, it, it's bigger picture thing. You have Jay White, who's, you know, the biggest deal in the company, so he's going to get a reaction. I don't think he's going to, like, cheat to beat Goto. I think he's going to beat him clean with a uh, Blade Runner, but could do some shenanigans like that, but I, I wouldn't do it. I just have him beat him clean uh, with the Blade Runner. So that will do it for my preview of the Power Struggle show. It's, you know, it's not a bad show. By any means, I think there's a lot of interesting matchups, uh, some fresh matchups, but you know, as far as it's, you're at the kind of 
the part uh, of the schedule where you're so excited to see Wrestle Kingdom and you're just like, oh, I just want it to be January 4th. And now we're going to be like, I can't wait for the 4th and the 5th now uh, of matches. So you just kind of at that point waiting for that moment. But yeah, it's still going to be a good match. Or a good match. It's still going to be a good show. And uh, it's not going to be like anything terrible or anything. With a lot of things. But also Noah's uh, Sumo Hall show just happened. So you're kind of off the, riding the wave of that. Which can't wait to see that. And just seeing kind of pictures and flying around of what's happened. It looked fucking awesome. 5,000 people strong. So that's huge, huge rating. Or not really rating. Huge draw for Noah. Was, I was hoping they would get somewhere above four to 5,000. They got that. So that's awesome. Huge job for those guys. As uh, that will do it for my Power Struggle preview. As I'm excited to see how it plays out. And I will catch you guys for my review of Power Struggle 2019. Take care.